One is the classified docs. As you know, there was a raid on uh, Donald Trump in Mar-a-Lago. They discovered uh, quantities of um, uh, top secret and secret documents. Uh, documents there. Uh, they had already. He had already um, uh, transferred to the National Archives upon request and upon subpoena uh, documents. Uh, but then. He had said he had given everything, but there was a bunch of, obviously he was lying because there was a bunch of uh, uh, secret or top secret documents in his home. Uh, and clearly he knew about it, so uh, clearly it was, it, was, uh, it was visible and evident and people around him knew about it and he was lying. So the FBI raided it and took those documents and there's a question of whether to indict him or not. Now it turns out that um, a, a cache of, these do of, of similar documents we don't know exactly how similar, but of, again, classified documents, was found in a non-for-profit that Biden had set up when he left the White House um, uh, when he was, uh, after he was VP. Uh, and, and that has been turned over to the National Archives. And now it turns out that there's a second um, batch of classified document found somewhere in Biden's office or former office. Uh, and this is just, I mean, who knows if we go search Obama's house and we search... I mean, this just shows uh, uh, many things, but uh, uh, obviously uh, uh, Trump's stupidity, this is something that uh, everybody does, it turns out, and all Trump needed to do was when asked for these documents, just turn them over, and because he had taken a large amount and this became evident, and he just needed to turn them over when he was asked to by legal authorities, but he, play, he was playing a game, so it, it, just, it, just, uh, it just showed how stupid he was. Um, uh, second, I, I think this clearly shows there are just too many frigging c classified documents. How about we declassify 80% of all the government documents that are termed classified? Uh, I think I've, I've said this in the past. I said this when Trump's home was was um, uh, was taken by was was uh, visited by the FBI. Too many stuff in the, in in government is classified. They work for us. They are our servants. They are representatives. How dare they keep secrets from us? Um, so I understand there's some secrets you have to keep. I, I don't know, military strategy, names of spies, uh, uh, ways in which we accumulate, uh, uh, you know, information about our enemies. Yeah, there, there's some things that should not be secret. But almost everything else should not be, should be public. Uh, there should be no, America still has... These courts that are secret courts, that's absurd. Uh, you know, so open it up, declassify in mass. Do you know they still haven't released all the documents? They've released almost all the documents, but not all the documents from the assassination of JFK. There's still some documents that are redacted out of, I don't know, national security grounds. 60 years later? The spies are either dead or retired. The, the means by which we accumulate intelligence are not the same as they were back then. It, this is insane. And it's not because there's some conspiracy around JFK's death. It's just bureaucratic inertia. Oh, my God, if we release this information, they'll want that information. Let's not give them this, and it's, they'll expect more. And it's just inertia. It's easier not to release than to release. But they forget the bureaucrats. The politicians, they forget. They work for us. You don't keep secrets from your employer. Let me say it again. You don't keep secrets from your employer. All the information the United States government has belongs to us. So stop having so many classified documents and you won't catch them in politicians' offices. Thank you for listening or watching The Iran Brooks Show. If you'd like to support the show, we make it as easy as possible for you to trade with me. You get value from listening. You get value from watching. Show your appreciation. You can do that by going to iranbrookshow.com slash support, by going to Patreon, subscribe star, locals, and just making a appropriate contribution uh, on any one, of those, uh, any one of those channels. Also, if you'd like to see The Iran Brooks Show grow, please consider sharing our content, and of course, subscribe. Press that little bell button right down there on YouTube so that you get an announcement when we go live. And for those of you 
who are ready subscribers and those of you who are ready supporters of the show, thank you. I very much appreciate it.